we need to simplify this expression now we know that such expressions can be expressed as exponentials so let us do that cube root of a square is equal to a to the power 2 by 3 sixth root of a is equal to a to the power 1 by 6 so this is what we have we also know that the laws of exponents hold for fractional exponents as well now when the base is same that is when we have a to the power m divided by a to the power n we can write it as a to the power m minus n so in this case we have a to the power something divided by a to the power something so we can write it as a to the power the exponent in the numerator which is 2 by 3 minus the exponent in the denominator which is 1 by 6 so this is what we have now 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 we have 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 this is equal to 6 6 is the lcm of 3 and 6 so denominator is multiplied by 2 so we multiply the numerator with 2 2 into 2 is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 by 6 3 by 6 is equal to half so this is equal to a to the power half this is what we have and we know a raised to the power 1 by 2 is equal to root a so this is the simplified form of this expression we need to simplify this expression well it looks a huge expression but using the laws of exponents we can simplify it very easily let us see how now 81 by 16 raised to the power minus 3 by 4 into 25 by 9 raised to the power minus 3 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 to the power negative 3 so first let us bring all the exponentials to their simplest form so we have the negative powers we know that a by b to the power negative n can be written as b by a to the power n that is if we take the reciprocal of the fraction the exponent becomes positive so let us apply this for all the fractions so we write it as 16 by 81 we take the reciprocal remember we need to take the reciprocal of the base and the exponent becomes positive so we have this to the power 3 by 4 into we take the reciprocal 9 by 25 to the power 3 by 2 divided by 2 by 5 to the power 3 this is what we have now we have fractional exponents here so let us simplify this further So sixteen by eighty one whole raised to the power three by four. Now we know that sixteen is equal to two to the power four. Eighty one is equal to three to the power four. So sixteen by eighty one is two to the power four by three to the power four. 
2 to the power 4 by 3 to the power 4 and we know that a to the power m divided by b to the power m is equal to a by b whole to the power m this is what we know so 16 by 81 whole to the power 3 by 4 can be written as 2 by 3 to the power 4 into 3 by 4 9 is equal to 3 square 25 is equal to 5 square so 9 by 25 is 3 square by 5 square and 3 square by 5 square can be written as 3 by 5 whole square so I can write this as 3 by 5 whole square into 3 by 2 divided by 2 by 5 whole cube 2 by 5 whole cube so this is what we have now this 4 and this 4 get cancelled this 2 and this 2 get cancelled so what we are left with is 2 by 3 whole cube into 3 by 5 whole cube divided by 2 by 5 whole cube this is what we have now this can be written as 2 cube by 3 cube this can be written as 3 cube by 5 cube and divided by 2 by 5 whole cube now divided by 2 by 5 whole cube means divided by 2 cube by 5 cube we can make this division multiplication and take the reciprocal so we can write it as 5 cube by 2 cube this is what we have and now we have a 2 cube here we have a 2 cube in the denominator so this gets cancelled we have a 3 cube and a 3 cube we have a 5 cube in the denominator 5 cube in the numerator so this is 1 into 1 into 1 so the solution is equal to 1